Hello, this is the uh, Friday, the February 2nd, February 3rd class. <clears throat> and what I like to go over today starts off with the uh, yeah, quiz number two, and then look at the homework two. And uh, I hope um, most of you have at least uh, took a look at the <clears throat> what the assignment is about, but uh, regardless, here you go, right? <clears throat> so in homework two, excuse me, we have uh, each one of these numbers taking out one word, four bytes, and then two, two uh, words with the, uh, initialized with the zeros, right? So if I'm trying to get the second entry in the array T, this particular one, and uh, load the value <clears throat> into V0 register. So I want to dereference this uh, second address, second array element, and store the value or transfer the value to V0. Since we are dealing with the uh, word, so I have to use load the word instruction. <clears throat> and the target is V0 register. It's coming from uh, basically T, right? <clears throat> but if this first word or first uh, item has is at address T, the second one is at address T plus four. So I can use this. And any other variation of this will be fine as you um, may have done in the homework one. Okay, so the next one is, uh, once you get it, uh, now the, the, whatever you have in, the, in register as zero, you wanna <laughs> save that into memory location, save of one, again, the second word of, Array save, and again the byte address will be save plus four. So this will be simple opposite, <clears throat> except that uh, it's not a destination that comes in first for the store. It's the source. So as zero register is now saved and save plus four. So here, if we start off with this, <clears throat> A0 has four, and we do load word into T3, T plus four, and A0 happens to have value four. So if you add all of them together, we have T plus eight, right? So T plus eight is this is T, address T is at address T plus four in bytes, T plus eight. So this will be F. <clears throat> And if you, I don't have to save that. If you have trouble with this one or quiz one, excuse me. Actually, I want you to kind of scan through all the instructions you have in MIPS, right? So you have a add these alphabetical orders, add. In, uh, the absolute takes the the source register, take the absolute value and save that into destination register. Add, add as these two registers and put the sum in there. Add i is to have an immediate value. Unsign is just the sort of variation. And branch uh, or different conditions. And you may notice that uh, <clears throat> you can compare two registers for equality. And if uh, one of the uh, value you're comparing is uh, against zero, then you can leave that out, but use a B equals Z instruction. So they can, it's a little bit simpler, right? <clears throat> or at least uh, the, the comparison against zero is explicit in the instruction and <clears throat> or different uh, branch conditions with the unsigned and signed variations, right? <clears throat> not equal, divide, <clears throat> jump to the target, 
And that is identical to branch to label or branch to target. So um, the operation is the same. And this simply means that next pull encounter that is uh, currently updating will not be a new pull encounter. <clears throat> Oh, no, the, uh, no, that is not correct for the branch. Uh, it didn't say that. Okay. <clears throat> so the target address should be your new port encounter value. And you have a jump and link so for function call, jump and return with the register. <clears throat> And this register will be storing the return address. So that will be your new pro encounter. Okay. <clears throat> and load address, load byte, load immediate, load word. You can skip those, this multiplication one. And, and rotation. These are set instructions that you don't have to worry about now. This is a shift left. Shift uh, or this that um, when you do um, uh, these are or set instructions. So for now, I don't think you need to about, worry about this one. So for example, this part can be grayed out <clears throat> and set less than when it's less than you set the Boolean value. This one is kind of a alphabet order. Makes it a little bit uh, complicated. Yeah, so that's what it is. Okay. So we'll talk about set instruction when you uh, look at the x86, Intel x86. Okay, so uh, probably need to spend a couple of seconds in each instruction and see what it does. And then you are, you master the instruction set. Okay. And now we're going to get into the homework two. Sorry, so. Homework two. And in homework two, given a character, you just want to get its types, right? <clears throat> get its type. <clears throat> So the idea here is captured in this algorithm. And this is already written in pseudo, uh, no, not right, yeah. So uh, I thought it was. <laughs> so let's write the pseudo C first. <clears throat> New. So everyone should be able to see it. <clears throat> so this is the whole thing. So we are in an infinite loop. <clears throat> and gotta need that. Okay. So the first thing is to get uh, the line yeah. and get line, the MIPS, the code for get line function is in the the uh, maybe I shouldn't have closed it. Yeah, the provide here already, so you can simply copy it over. That's fine. <clears throat> now we can write the the um, so the C code. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Put it in here. Hmm. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Then we can write them next to each other. It's so much easier to see. So let's say it'll be a little bit longer because there are some go-to's and stuff. Okay, so we can do it this way. 
Okay, so while the infinity, right? So on the on, on the um the um what is it? The <laughs> uh, go on forever. Okay. <laughs> so in order to go on forever, uh you after you're done, you need to come back, right? So that's what you do. So this is the, and each time you come back, you pick up a new input stream, new input line. So I'm going to go to the next line, input line. And at the very end, I'm going to have a <clears throat> branch back to any way not to capsize, cap, capitalize it, branch to next line. So this is the while loop, right? <clears throat> infinite loop. And inside the infinite loop, the first thing you have to do is uh, go to the pseudocode. Okay. What you want to do is go to get line. The core get line function. And this is a, the sort of a simple test, but the first character in the in buff. So when you do an in get line, then you're going to get the the, the character string in an in buff space. So uh, you're checking for the first one, whether it's uh, equal to pound. If it's equal to pound, then you break out of this while loop, so you're done, right? So that's what you can we can do here. So you have uh, <clears throat> in buff, copy that. And breaking means that you are going out of this entire infinite while bug. Okay. So you need to go out here. And this is where you now can stop the program. Okay. Go to stop. So the when you enter the pound in the first character, then you're going to shut down the program. <clears throat> okay, so next one is set i to zero. So yeah, this is actually removing the for loop. So set i to zero. I think there is a way of doing it, right? I hmm. no. Yeah, anyways. That. And do this the do loop. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the um hmm. can't put the wire condition at the top. To start off with that one. It's not equal to pound. Oops, not equal to pound then it keeps going, right? So when it is the pound the first time, that is, your, the, that is already picked up. So I think we can do it here. Okay. So we can sort of change that. Um, while not equal to that. Repeat this. This one should be on the next line, right? Something like this, <clears throat> right? So we say uh, resetting to zero. <clears throat> oh, we have to set the key, right? Uh, that's why I did it that way. <laughs> okay, let me get back. That should be really 
CH cube. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Okay, so how can we change this? Uh, we're going to now do this part. So it's, a, it's basically the same as wire block, but when you assign the, the ith character in the in buff to character key, then you do the search and then check whether the that is equal to pound or not. That's, that's the idea. So if it's... Uh, uh, not equal to pound, then we need to go back. So this is the repeat block or while block. So we need to have a enclosure on that, right? So we need to have a label for that is, so when you get a, uh, come back to this block again, you are picking up the next character. So I can give you the next char label. <clears throat> so the next char label, First thing I do is pick up the uh, ith character of in buff. So that would be, uh, what would that be? Character key is now equal to in buff of i. <clears throat> and simply copy. So do this block. Do this block. And when I'm done with this block, increment it. And now I'm going to check whether character key is uh, equal to pound or not. Right? So here I can put the condition if uh, character key is not equal to pound, then I need to go back, right? Go back to the beginning of this do loop. So go to next char. Otherwise, what do I do? I'm now leaving this block and then hold on to the following statements. So this is the, just copy that. Do these, and now I go back to the beginning, get the new input string. Since uh, I reached the end of the input string with the pound, pound character, print out buff, which should have the character types clear in buff for the next uh, new input string, clear out buff and go back, pick up a line and go through this whole thing again, right? So this is the, going to be the pseudocode. <clears throat> and I'm going to <clears throat> write the uh, program for it. First of all, uh, I need a space for out buff, in buff, in buff and out buff. I need to have uh, 80 characters for that. And this is the beginning of one. And if you want to put the comments, then what this program is about and as for, and you can give a big picture description of what the whole program is. <clears throat> and also I'm going to need this uh, tap chart, right? Tap jar. Jar. So what I have to do is copy this part and put it into the program. And I already did it here. So this, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I use capital. But <clears throat> uh, if you don't like it, then I use small T, so that's fine. <laughs> OK. So you notice that <clears throat> you can have a one data segment declaration and then text the executable code. And later on, you can have another data segment and another text segment. That's perfectly fine. The assembler will simply collect whichever comes after the dot data declaration and shove it into the data segment one after another in the same order. OK, okay. so here we go for the program. 
So we have a next line, right? Next line, capital L. Okay. First thing I need to do is call get line function. So I need to do <clears throat> JL. <clears throat> and after I get a pickle line, I need to look at the first character in the in buff, right? So I need to see what is in the first byte of this in buff um, data memory, it's a mem the uh, data segment. So I need to pick up a byte from in buff and put it in somewhere, uh, what I'm gonna use. Let's <clears throat> use S0, okay. so in buff. So this will pick up one byte from in buff and put it in S0. And I need to compare that against that. So if uh, comparison here is the equality, I can use branch equal S0 versus pound, then go to stop, right? So this is it. So for the comments, I can simply do this. <laughs> So these two instruction, we'll check for the first byte, see if it's equal to pound and go to stop, right? <clears throat> and after that, I set i to zero, temporary variable. So use, I'll use t9, just to be different. So t9 set to zero. So I need to make a note that T9 is, I'm leaving out the dollar sign, just the cumbersome. T9 will carry the index i. And next char, right? So next char. And <clears throat> character key. So I need the, the register for that. For character key, key character K, 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 what would be good? Uh, let's use A, right? So I need to go to ith byte of in buff and save it into the A0 register, A0 register. So I need to load a byte into A0. And that is coming in from <clears throat> in buff indexed by i is in t9, right? t9, so indexed by t9, what it is. So the common will be <clears throat> a0 having, all right, I, actually I can use this. So you can easily see that character, oops, this one, right? Yeah, character key, search key is in, S0 register, uh, A0 register. Next one is to the character type, right? And that is obtained by calling search function, which you have to write later on. So I need to call search function. And the search function, when you write, uh, you need to write what it does. And argument, you have to a description on which register has the argument and what is the, which register we have the return value. So in this case, character type, right? Character type. So at this point, since I wrote search function, I know that uh, we said A3 will be returning from search function with the character type. So I can use that and I can make a little note here. A3 will have a character type. So after that, what's next? The, now you're the converting into the character type to ask the alphanumeric, right? And, and I, I can use the same register, so it's not an issue. So for A3 register, has the integer character type, but 
I will convert it to ASCII. <clears throat> and if you noticed uh, how they convert the, the numerical value into ASCII code, so zero is converted to three zero hex, one is three one hex for the printable alphanumeric, right? So all you have to do is given an integer value, I need to add hex three zero, that will give you a printable string or this is a char function. So all I need to do is add i in immediate and Use the same register, doesn't hurt. So A3 register and X30. So this is the char of type conversion function, char, char, char of C character type. And now I save that, that is an A3 register, save that into out buff, right? So I need to store byte A3 into out buff now, but at the same index T9, right? Same index I, T9. So out buff of I, yes. Maybe I don't put it there. there right? <clears throat> and increment i. So now I can increment i. Now in this uh, assignment, since we're stepping through one byte at a time, we don't need to have the multiply by four that the uh, indexing issue uh, with the arrays, integer arrays, because uh, Integer arrays takes a four bytes. So we can add the i's in T9, right? So T9 by one. So that is i plus plus. And now we compare this, right? The character key that we put it in A0 register uh, against the pawn, right? So now we are comparing whether it's not equal. So A0 for character key and comparing against pawn. If they are not equal, then we go to next chart. Right? So next chart. And jump and link to print whichever name you want to put up above. and jump in link to clear buffs, which clears out these two buffers. So clearing meaning that uh, zeroing out, so you are putting in something from the input string and the, the character types. So in order to clear, you need to set, reset all of them to zero, 80 characters to zero. Right? So you can the store zero register, which always has zero to those uh, in buff, out buff, then that will do. <clears throat> so I combine these into single function, so you know what to do. If you want, you can put it in two separate functions. Go to next line, so easy, right? So this is the next line. And you're done with the main function. And stop here is stop. So when you stop the program, um, so maybe I can give one more space. <clears throat> All you have to do is put uh, zero, put 10, code 10, mode 10 into B0 register and call this call. This will stop the program. <clears throat> so if you take a look at the comment along, uh, alone, then you kind of see what's going on, what these codes are trying to do. 
which is based on pseudo C code. It's much easier to figure out what the program is doing yeah. instead of trying to figure out with the A0, A3, and you know, the, a lot of uh, different registers. So the when I meant add comments, it has to be very succinct, very brief. You don't want to stretch it out to the next line because that will be um, you know mess up the code code columns uh, for the pre-printing. So you want to make it very simple and short, mostly based on pseudo C code. Right. <clears throat> so let's run it because I already wrote the search function myself. So run it and see what happens if there is any error. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I use a capital T. I have to use a capital T. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why I have an error there. I didn't really should show you this, but <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, let's try that. Hmm. Okay, let me, uh, I think it can freeze and take a look anyways, but um, S0, I don't see anything wrong, so I don't know why. Bring it. Charts here, tab chart. Mm. And the P. Uh, I think, you know, what I can do is Comment it out for now. What about my clipboard? Let me take a couple of minutes. Uh, why is that? Let me start a weird thing. Uh, this is really odd. But then you have to look uh, the instruction above. Something is wrong. I already did that, so. Okay. Yeah, definitely something wrong with this. I don't see why. Uh, if that is the case, I can change the mode. Uh, 
Why we don't like it? Color zero. Color. Okay, so now address, right? For address, I can use let's use T9 because the first entry in the cap jar, so I can use. T9 in indirect mode. And here, <clears throat> again, so if you take a look at the tab chart, we have one word for a character, or do you use only one by last by of the word, and one word for the uh, it's type. So each entry will have uh, two words or 16, uh, eight bytes. So if I want to advance to the next entry in the, the uh, tab chart, then I have to add <clears throat> to T9, which starts off with the tab chart. I have to add eight to it. <clears throat> Let's try that. See if, uh, I don't need this. Yeah, I think it's a, basically some kind of a character issue. Hmm. Something is wrong. And that's the two new entries that we had, right? Oh, uh, you know what? I already reused it. <laughs> it's there. Done it. <laughs> okay, so this is instead of next char, <clears throat> use next entry. Next entry, next entry. That that need to go to next entry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I showed you what can happen. Print up up. Uh, I don't have a function for that, so I have to do write a function. Print up up. Uh, what's the name I used? A line there, print types, clear buff. Oh boy, yeah. Yay, it works. Okay, so if I run it, uh, let's see what happens. Then this one up. I need to enter a string, input string. Um, yeah, what am I gonna do? Um, a B one two dollar five, and each input string has to be terminated with the pawn. So don't forget to use pawn. Then I have an error. Okay. And it says that uh, the message, I cannot really see it. Execution terminate with error. That's the one, only one.
So actually, I was going to try to show you how to do the debug. But if this is the purpose, perfect. Okay, uh, runtime exception at that address our range. So I'm trying to access the invalid area of the uh, the program. <clears throat> And if you take a look at this, then it has an address of 2002 and it's fourth. If you remember, <clears throat> data segment starts with the 1001000. So this is going way at the bottom of that data segment. So something is, the data should not be, should not occupy this amount of space. So the question is, how do I do debugging? So the first thing <clears throat> uh, I recommend you to do, depending on the error, is be all different. But uh, what I can do is I can do a backtrack by one step. So I can go a single step back and brings me here. Yeah. And if I take a look at the instruction, store by from above with the dollar T9 or T9 register, and T9 register is the index into in buff and up buff, right? So if I go across, check what I have in T9. Ooh, it's so big, right? So that's why. So it should be just the index from zero through 79 or 80, right? <clears throat> so I need to see where T9 is going that way out of hand. Uh, it's easier to do here. T9 is here and get the first one, do the search and that, and that one. But if I look at the search function, I'm using T9 too. <laughs> so I have a conflict of interest. So the, what you can do is here, add the comments that for the register use. Registers, what do you use for what purpose? T9 for index to which one is, it? yeah, have char. So if you take a look at comments, then you know you are using T9, so you hear, you can figure out that you cannot use T9. So T8, T8, oops, T8, T8, would that do? Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so I think let's do, if I run it again. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. Uh, can I? No, I cannot change the size of this. A, B, C, one, two, three, and pound. Then I think it's done running. So, a, B, C, one, two, three pound. Just copy that. Huh. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what's going on. So it's just the uh, echo copies the one. <clears throat> so that's, I'm not sure what's going on, right? So now I have to start figuring out. <clears throat> Stop it. The best thing, uh, a few more minutes. The best thing is to go back here, right? Is to um, check the, the control flow, control the uh, program flow. So I got an in buff, that's fine. <clears throat> now I'm checking for one character at a time and do it. So I, I want to see um, when I 
get the search key or character key for the function whether, whether it comes back with the right value. It looks like it is not doing it. Okay. So what I can do is uh, start uh, running again, go to the very beginning by resetting it. <clears throat> okay. So reset it. There is no pause button or stop button. They enabled. So they are just uh, grayed out. And I can set a breakpoint here. Okay. Breakpoint and run. Then it's asking me to enter data. One, two, three, and count. Then it's ready to run. So I can do single stepping, the, the, the triangle in one. And if a yellow bar moves to the next instruction, then I'm done ex complete execution of this load byte. So I can check what I have in S0 register. And it has six, six one, which is uh, the, um, the A, right? Character A. So this is working fine. And keep moving, keep moving. You can check the register to two. And next time, load the byte. I can check what I have in A0. A0 now has six one. We get letter A, so that's fine. So now I'm iterating through this uh, input string ABC is space one, two, three, so one character at a time. Now I'm going to jump to search. Now what does search function do? Look at every entry one at a time and until you hit on 61. So if you do a single stepping inside search function, then you have to do 61 or hex 61, right? So it's much more to do it. So it is kind of so tedious to do the debugging. So what I'll do is I'll set a breakpoint and instead of single stepping and let it go until it's on the breakpoint. And what is the function search? It has to return the character type in A3 register, right? So after immediately after it returns, I can check what A3 has, A3. As a type five, right? Type five, is it type five? Okay. Uh, character should be, what should be? Type two. Hmm. So something is wrong. So I can immediately tell that it is not correct. And see, uh, a0. Yeah, A0 is the, the argument that it passed, which is a letter A, and A3 returns type 5. So I can tell that my search function is not working right. Now I have to, now I can narrow it down that I need to check the search function. <clears throat> so uh, I can now reset it and set a breakpoint here. I don't need that. And run it again. Then I'm ready to do the search of the next character. So A0 register should have 62B, letter B, character B. That's correct. Now I can do a single stepping to enter. This where the search function is. Search function starts here. Now I can examine what's going on in my search function. <clears throat> okay. So again, in the search function, I'm going to have an iteration loop. So um, if it's too tedious to do it, then what I can do is actually, uh, I can reset it. <clears throat> It's not resetting. Huh? Oh, it's, oh. It's not going back. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Reset it. And what I can do is run it again. 
Um, yeah. Run it again. With the input string, where is it? Close to the top, right? So that uh, I I can step through the search function, but I know where to stop right away instead of going all the way down the list, just to keep single stepping stepping. <laughs> so although there may be other ways of doing it, then I can try that. Just about done. So I set a breakpoint there. Okay, so run it. The symbols are dollar, uh, dollar pound, and plus. Oh, uh, they whenever as soon as a pound is the end of the input string, right? What is? Where is it? Ah, uh, just... left paren, plus and pound. Then I'm ready to jump to do the search. If I come back from the search, the A3 register should have uh, has now again value five. Yeah, so I definitely need to check the search function. In the search function, I can do a single stepping. And I know I'm going to see whether I found or not because the, the data or input character is uh, at the top of the table. So I don't need to go that much far in the table. Yeah. Okay, so these are some of the search strategies. I mean, the debugging strategies and what you can do with the, the breakpoints. So you're going to need the breakpoints quite often and uh, yeah, so this, the 80 character, this is the, if you remember the up of space, it starts with the up of inbox. So the data segment, I think this is the inbox space. What you entered is a uh, dollar, dollar, two zero space for left paren and plus and space and the pound, right? So this is where the inbox stars and what is this space oh this is basically where the prom string is so i move the prom string down in the get line function because uh, this data is directly associated with this function so it's much easier to see what's going on right away instead of the collecting all the data in one place and I, you have to scroll up where the string prompt is and things like that. So you try to make uh, each function, again, as self-contained as possible. Okay, so I went a bit over, but uh, hope this session can get you started right away in home with homework two and finish them in time. And I gave, I showed all my hands, right? <laughs> so I even showed the, the search function. I didn't mean to, but uh, because of that labor error. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me the emails and